This is Soraya, that's Quasar, and that's Phoenix. This is Dr. Lori Marker introducing us to the cats who live in her backyard. That's a happy purr, not a that's I want to eat you purr. That's a very happy purr. Yeah. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Hi, babies. Three 10-month-old okay. cheetahs. Come here, babies. Hi, guys. So come on what this way. Doing? Okay, Dan, do you want to come in here, too? Yeah. How do I not lose a finger? Well, <laughs> ideally, if you kind of hold it like that, uh -huh. and then bring it down like this, mm -hmm. and then give it right into their mouth. Oh, OK. It's snack time. I'd rather do I... don't do him. Don't do him? Do okay. her. OK, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> they chirp like birds. <laughs> These are just three of the dozens of big cats who live with Dr. Marker here at her facility in the country of Namibia. What do you love about cheetahs? They're so beautiful. They're fast. Um, they're the most amazing animal there is on the face of the earth. You're not biased. I'm not biased at all. I tell everyone that. <laughs> this woman from California has become perhaps the world's leading expert on and fiercest protector of these fast and fast disappearing cats. It's been 19 years since Dr. Marker moved here to Namibia, which has the largest cheetah population on Earth. Since then, her one-woman operation has exploded. Her foundation now employs scores of people Hi, who Quasi. study cheetahs in the lab, in the field, and on this huge reserve. Come on, girls, go, go, go! When you're keeping the fastest land mammal on Earth in captivity, you need to provide the opportunity to stretch the legs a little bit. These cheetahs are chasing our truck, which they know is filled with fresh meat. After a suitable workout, lunch. Dan, you just get to grab I get to do the honors. What, what is this we're feeding? All right, here's some donkey, Nina. Whoa! So I got three. There, great. Boom. Here you go, darling. Okay. okay. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. And this is how they're exercising the baby cheetahs today, letting them chase a rag attached to a pulley. That's Soraya. She's very fast. They can reach speeds up to 80 miles an hour. We keep them exercised because they're in captivity and they can't run after their own antelope. So after running, they have to breathe out for a few minutes, just like the big guys. In the audience today, a group of students from the dwindling number of countries where cheetahs still exist. They've come here to learn from the master about how to save these animals from their number one predator, humans. Now, you are all the crowd who's going to help save the species, right? <laughs> So their extinction is happening now. If we're not working more quickly and rapidly in conservation, the cheetah's not going to be on Earth in the next 20 years. A hundred years ago, there were 100,000 cheetahs on Earth. Now, 90% of them are gone. Their greatest asset is also their greatest liability. Their hunting prowess is getting them in trouble with farmers who are systematically killing cheetahs because they eat their livestock. It was a shooting by a farmer that caused Soraya, Quasar, and Phoenix to end up in Lori's care. They came in when they were two days old. Um, a farmer had actually shot the mother, and the mother was term pregnant, and apparently they were, he could see the stomach sort of moving. As, this is a Kangle, and she just came from Texas. Dr. Marker has now come up with a counterintuitive way to stop farmers from shooting cheetahs. She's using dogs to save cats. Her organization is breeding dogs that they give away to farmers to protect their flocks from cheetahs. They grow up in the flock and then they act as a guardian. So what they do is they bark loudly. A dog like this really can take on a predator cat. Yeah because of their, their power. But if they have to, they will fight to the death. To the death? Yeah. But usually, they don't have to. A fascinating cheetah paradox is that while they are ferocious hunters, they're not terribly aggressive otherwise. They're easily chased away. 
In fact, for centuries, cheetahs have proven relatively easy to domesticate. The cheetah has been revered by kings, emperors, and princes for 5,000 years. Um, Maharajas had you know, a thousand of them in their stables. They would take them out and hunt with them. Uh -oh, Some of the cheetahs at this reserve, like Quasar, Phoenix, and Soraya, are too attached to their human handlers to be released back into the wild. When you bottle raise them, they, you know, they become you know, very socialized. Others, however, have been successfully released. But it will not be enough, and Dr. Marker knows there is a lot more work to be done. This is Chewbacca, who Dr. Marker adopted as an infant 14 years ago. With his excellent people skills, he's been an ambassador and a companion for Dr. Marker. But as you can see, he's reaching the end of the line. Oh, Chewbacca, it's not that easy anymore. A living reminder of how magnificent and how fragile this species is. Everything about them is just amazing. Um, and yet they are truly one of the wonders of the world. And they could go away. They are going away. They are going away in front of our very eyes. For Nightline, this is Dan Harris in Ochivaranga, Namibia.